Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above and my basket right here, we are going to do another Trash Talk video. So, I've said before, I'm trying to get these Trash Talk videos done earlier than like a month. I'm trying to do them every one to two weeks because that way what I've melted and performance wise is fresher in my brain and I've been really trying to use up the summer wax because it is still summer. It is still warm out and I don't want to sit on this wax for longer and another season so I really want to work through the summer stuff and I want to let you guys know what I thought. Now, of course, there is still some amazing bakery and amazing fall in here because it's my favorite season. Love bakery and warm scents, but I have a lot of candles and I have a lot of wax to share. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with candles, I have three and a half-ish um, summery candles, so we'll start those. The first one I finished is Emerald Waters from Bath & Body Works in the three wick. This last wick you see, it was uh, burning a little longer than the other ones. But I loved this fragrance. This I got last year, I believe, and it says Salted Sea Waves, Ocean Driftwood, and a Hint of Orange Blossom. And I feel like Bath & Body Works hasn't really done a scent like this because of the orange blossom and the salty sea air. It's really, really pretty. It's a little bit sweet from the orange blossom. And uh, it does smell like the waves are like crashing on the ocean. And it's just a beautiful day. And I'm watching it from the comfort of my home on the television. That's what I envision the beach smelling like. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I like this and it performed really well in my bedroom. Anytime I left and came back in, I got a really nice, just light whiff of that fragrance and it was really pretty. Next, Orange Pineapple Punch. Now this one, mm, I love the way that it smells on cold. It smells like, it smells like, like a dual juice, like an orange pineapple juice. It burned really well and again, it was like, I mean, it says orange juice, sweet pineapple, and vanilla sugar cane. So it is like an orange pineapple-y juice. But I didn't get anything from this. I started it in my candle room, and then I moved it out here. Then I moved it into the kitchen. All different days, and every single time, I didn't get anything from it. It burned fine, but I didn't get any throw from it. I burned this with, like, some tropical scents to try to boost it up, but I didn't get anything from it. Now, this one... So good. Pink Lemonade. This is the Pink Lemonade from last year. I know some people are struggling with the packaging version this year, but this one, it did get low flames towards the end, and, and actually, if you can see here, bad candle um, safety here. The wick uh, got pretty close to the edge, and it like started to melt the plastic sticker. So definitely just be aware when you're burning your candles. But this pink lemonade is so good. It's sweet strawberry puree, acai berries, fresh lemonade, and sugar. It really smells like you're at the fair, and you're getting that fresh lemonade where they take the lemon and the sugar, and they shake it up, but added with like pureed strawberry. You definitely get the rich sweetness of a strawberry. I feel like this could be called strawberry lemonade just as much as it could be pink lemonade, and it was really, really pretty. Speaking of strawberry, I finished a strawberry pound cake single lick in my bathroom. I mean, how much more can I say? I love strawberry pound cake. Always a classic. Burn all the way down. I could, like, stick this in the candle crock and get, like, another day out of it, but, I mean, realistically, I have so much strawberry pound cake, I don't really need to do that. I did crock this candle from Yankee Candle. This was Lakefront Lodge. I attempted to burn it a lot and it just got really, really low flames and I'm like, I'm over this. I'm just going to stick in my crock. Honestly, I could probably get some more days out of it. It performed so well. I actually did move my crock from the laundry room into the kitchen and it's working so much better in there. I have a blueberry cheesecake candle from Candles by Victoria. I'm going in there now and it legit Smells like cheesecake all day, like for days. It's so good. So I don't even need to put a warmer in there. Like I put that candle crock in there. It sends up the kitchen, like not overpowering where I'm like, oh my God, that's so strong. Just like steady, no matter what, I smell the blueberry cheesecake. So anyway, Lakefront Lodge from Yankee Candle. 
This was nice. It definitely leans more towards like masculine aquatic cologne, but I liked it. It was pleasant. It was fresh. I would never repurchase it. Now, I have another Yankee Candle. I am so impressed with this. If any vendor has a dupe oil of this, let me know. Dried Lavender and Oak. This is in their signature two wick. It did get sooty. I am going to pop this in the Candle Crock because the wicks just got super close together burning it the last time. So it just burns. You sit it like this. But oh my gosh. Dried lavender and oak is so, so pretty. If you're not even a lavender fan, you have to try dried lavender and oak. It's just the right amount of woodsy with that, and it is dried lavender. Like, it's not super herbal. It's not sweet. It's just dried lavender. It's so, so pretty with the woodsiness. I love this. This is such a hit. I'm so glad that that's, like, readily available all year because it is so yummy. Now this one, it was a little bit of a flop, but I believe it's a flop on my end. It is the pumpkin cheesecake from Kringle in the Three Wick Soy Blend. I do know they're working on reformulating this, um, this Three Wick formula to all soy. I did not trim the wicks on this the first time, and I think that was its downfall. They were pretty long, and I'm used to not trimming the wicks on my regular soy candles. And it like fizzled out, and it had low flames the entire burn. I should have just popped it in the candle crock, but I did not. I love the scent. It is like a true creamy pumpkin cheesecake with the graham cracker, with the creaminess of the cheesecake without being sour. I love the scent. I am going to order it when they have a sale in the two wick soy because I love the scent so much, but I'm hoping with the three wick soy, I'm actually burning cognac and leather in my bedroom now in the three wick soy or soy blend, trimmed it, and it's burning flawlessly, and it's like halfway. So I can already tell the difference, like you need to trim the wicks on the three wick um, soy blends. So hopefully with the new ones, you won't have to, but for now, I have a couple more of the three wick soy blends. I will be trimming the wicks on them. So those were my candles that I finished up. Let's move into wax. I also remembered I finished a Kitchen Lime hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This was nice, just a very zesty lime. I would not necessarily repurchase it, but it was pleasant. It was a fine soap experience. All right, now moving on to Scentsy. I have four, five, seven, nine Scentsy bars that I finished up. The only one that I did two of because I did it in this main space was Magnolia Linen. I've heard so much about Magnolia Linen and how strong it is and how it blows you out of the house. Super powerhouse. I have it right now in the laundry and I've been using it as laundry. But this, mm, I would not say powerhouse. I, like palm trees and ocean breeze when I did it in here, two, three days powerhouse. This, it's like, it just smells like laundry, like a very clean laundry scent. I would not ever say, oops, I dropped one of the clams, but I would not say it's like knock you out of the park strong powerhouse. I would love it to. I did two whole clams in this main area, kitchen, living room, dining room, and I really didn't get anything crazy out of it. So it's not in my club. Um, the laundry's okay because obviously it just smells like laundry, but I feel like because when you have vendor wax, you just smell better laundry blends. So not for me. Next I did from Bring Back My Bar, Honeymoon Hideaway. And all the ones that have one bar, I either did in my candle room, like my office or my bedroom. And I don't like it. I did this when I got the entire kit. It's just like a sweet coconut, like tropical floral scent, but I mean, it smelled nice. It smelled like beachy, but I was like, I just want to use it up. Spring Forward, I actually did this yesterday, and this is different. I actually did this in my dining room and in my kitchen, and this is a very odd scent because there's cedarwood in here, and I feel like my cat's playing with a toy mouse, if you can hear him, but I just feel like even if you aren't like super into fragrance, you would pick up on cedarwood in here. Like it's very prevalent on cedarwood, which is so odd for a scent called Spring Forward. I feel like 
I was expecting more florals, but it, it, it is very, very woody with a light floral finish. Let me know if you guys like this or if it's anybody's club. I feel like this is just one that everybody's like, oh, it's nice. But it's not like a, a repurchase or anything like that. My beloved. I feel like it's everybody's beloved. Sweet plum pastry. I love sweet plum pastry, and I was feeling a whole vibe in here, which I'll get to in other melts, but during that feeling amazing celebration day, I did sweet plum pastry in my bedroom, and I love it. If you've never tried sweet plum pastry, you've got to. I, I mean, it's not out now, but it's also not my club either. Um, I was just getting way too much wax. It was overwhelming. I skipped my club already, and I was like, you know what? I don't care. I don't need it, and I canceled out of a whim, and I lost so many amazing bars, including my beloved Sweet Plum Pastry. So I have 26 bars still in my collection. I do have all of my collection alphabetized on a spreadsheet, all my wax, and I just love it. So I hope that it comes back and I bring back my bar before I'm out of bars. If not, once it does, I'll add it back into my club and it won't go anywhere because I love it. All right, some license bars. I did the Phineas and Ferb Best Day Ever bar. I feel like people really liked this when it came out. It's a very sweet, sweet, fruity scent, but then it does have like a green leaf, like palm tree type of scent in the background. Didn't really perform that well for me. It was an older bar, so... Just trying to use it up, trying to use these license bars up because they're just, they just don't perform as great. Mistress of Evil Maleficent. This was nice. This was from the Villains Collection, but it wasn't super strong. It kind of gives me, like, it's not in any, any sense sweet plum pastry, but it does have plum in here, so it is, like, fruity and nice, but, yeah, I mean, it fizzled out really quickly. Now this one did not fizzle out really quickly. I know people either loved this one or hated it. Jade and Jasmine. For the name like Jade and Jasmine, it definitely does not smell like that. It's very, it's very, very, very masculine cologne. Very. Almost like Irish Spring Bar Soap. I feel like a lot of people say, oh, it smells like Irish Spring. Oh, it smells like Irish Spring. Oh, it smells like Irish Spring. This one really smells like Irish Spring Bar so It's nice. I liked it, and it performed really well in my bedroom. But I don't think I need more. I mean, again, you can't get more. But, yeah, I mean, it's pleasant. It was good. It was strong. It was a good performer. But it smells like Irish Spring Bar so And then last for Scentsy is Baked Apple Pie. I love Baked Apple Pie. I really do. I have a whole brick of it that I'll use, but I don't know if it's because Natalie got it in my head. She's like, there's no pie. It just smells like baked apples. And I'm like, I think it smells like apple pie. And then I melted it. Um, I don't know. I still feel like it's, it's definitely apple pie, but Vendor Wax, again, does it so much better. But it's good. Like, I'll melt it. I'll obviously use up my brick. I really... I need to do a brick a month. Like, I need to get through a brick a month. I have so many bricks, and I literally don't ever touch them. I'm like, oh, I'll just go through some bars. But meanwhile, I have so many bricks. Anyway, all right, let's dive into my basket. So the theme this week was supposed to be Vintage Chic Sense, and you guys know, I'm full disclosure, I'm honest on my channel. People think because Kirby and I have been friends for a long time that... I won't review her wax honestly, or I get the wax for free, and both of those statements are not true. I had a VCS week, and by I started Sunday. By Tuesday, I was like, I can't smell anything. Like, I'm changing my wax twice a day. Um, I did Teddy Bees the week before, and I literally had the wax go all day with the AC on. And with the AC on here, my VCS just was not throwing. So, I did today... Today is Saturday, um, the end of VCS week. Um, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's rainy, but it's cool. So I open up the windows, turn off the AC to like air it out, and I'm doing VCS in all the rooms, and it's performing so well. So 
I think VCS is just a brand that you, and I know it's hit and miss for a lot of people. I love her fragrances and I love Kirby personally and as a business owner and everything, but I think that her wax performs better without AC. So anyway, with that being said, I'm just, I'm honest. So people think that I won't review her wax honestly because I'm friends with her. Nope, I still will. So I am. And speaking of, this unlabeled bag was actually the big pumpkin head from her that I had. And I cut it into four sections and bagged it up this way. And this is Jackie O's Peanut Butter Zucchini Bread. I have it going in here now. Like, this candle by Victoria Candle is fluffer butter, so it's peanut butter and banana and toasted marshmallow. So, mixed together, so good. And it's performing so well without the AC on. I love, love Jackie O's Peanut Butter Zucchini Bread. Love. Now, this is a Blossom Bar. I have it also going, I did this twice this week, in my candle room. That's also how I know it definitely is the AC because my candle room office doesn't have an outlet or like a vent for AC, but with the window or the door open, like it's naturally cool in there and things perform so well in there. So I know that it's not the AC or I know that it's not the wax, but anyway, this is a Blossom Bar. I have two little cubes left that I'm saving in the Chicago outfit. You guys, this is so good. It's Juicy Blackberry and Mango Infused Ginger Ale. And this I got in September of last year, so almost a year. It's so good. It's The blackberry is a fruity, juicy blackberry. It's not that perfumey blackberry. The mango... Also sweet and a little bit tart, and then mixed with the effervescent ginger ale. I've said it before, I always say it, I prefer ginger ale in wax over fizzy pop, and this is no exception, the Chicago outfit. Highly recommend, it's so good, it's magic when you blend these three together. I know Ramona Tall loves Chicago outfit from VCS. It's, it's a bestseller for her for a lot of reasons, so really, really like that one. Uh, I was going to just do VCS, but um, it's all mixed in. So, also from Vintage Chic, this is Christmas Tree Cakes Ice Cream with Raspberry. Christmas Tree Cakes Raspberry Ice Cream. So, raspberry vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. This was so nice. This was three little um, Easter egg shapes I got in a mystery box from her. I love the raspberry. She does the best, hands down, raspberry I've ever smelled. I feel like everybody agrees on that. Who's tried Vintage Cheeks Raspberry? It's the best. And mixed with the Christmas tree cakes, just made it like this really, really pleasant, rich, delicious, decadent raspberry cake scent. From Rose Girls, I did Alice is Lost in the Forest. This is Honeydew, Cotton Candy Frosting, Palo Santo, and Fraser Fir. I didn't get anything from this, and I got this in February, so it doesn't have a long... I mean, it had enough cure time, but it wasn't, like, overly. I didn't get anything from this. I was so excited when I got this blend in the mail because, or, like, when I first ordered it because I'm like, Palo Santo, and I love her Alice, which is Honeydew and Cotton Candy Frosting, mixed with the Fraser Furnace stuff, and all, like, you really couldn't detect everything, and it sort of, like, fell flat, and when I melted it in this open concept, or the open concept, this, like, my main space, I didn't get anything from it, so, but, and I do have a really good Rose Girls in here, so, I don't think it's just me hating on Rose Girls, because I actually had a really good winner in this round. And it is Serendipity Waffle Cone. So I put the bags together, and I did, I, this was the day that I was just feeling great, I accepted a new position for work, and the school things are going so well, and I'm super excited, and I decided to do Serendipity and Waffle Cone. Beth J, on here on YouTube, told Lexi, two quick wicks here on YouTube, Lexi told me, and then Natalie, not with Nat and Jack, told me that Beth J told her to try this blend, and I'm like, okay, and then Natalie's like, Drew! You've got to try this mixture. And I'm like, it's on my list. I have both bags. And, oh my gosh. The combo of the serendipity with the waffle cone 
Smelled like you were in the world's best ice cream shop, blending the waffle cone, like the rich butter sea salt from the waffle cone, from the batter, mixed with a coconut cream hint of cherry on top. And I don't love cherry, but this combo was incredible. What's nice is I could literally get this from any other vendor that I support that is not a hater, and I can't wait. So I, I love that. Next, I did from Southbound. At this point, I was just like, I just want to melt anything and anything. Um, Southbound was a um, souffle, and it is raspberry, strawberry, guava, satsuma, and vanilla buttercream. And it was like a pair of lips. It was a souffle. I did it in the candle room. So nice. I love me some satsuma. So blended with the raspberry guava. The vanilla buttercream, I didn't really detect, but this was really nice and really, really strong. Next, okay, I did the big bag of lips, the conversation heart from VCS. It was like a big pair of lips and then a bunch of hearts in this main space. It was the perfect size for this main space. I cut them into pieces. It worked well, but I didn't get throw from it. And this was poured in January, so definitely had a long cure time. And it was rich vanilla cupcakes filled with raspberry jam and topped with key lime frosting. I love the idea of this. I love the scent of it. I just could not get a throw. It was like a beautiful, rich raspberry cupcake with lime. It was awesome. And then the same thing with this, love story. I was so excited to melt this one. This is fresh strawberry ice cream in a waffle cone drizzled with raspberry sauce and heart-shaped sprinkles. So like a strawberry raspberry waffle cone. But yeah, I didn't get anything from it either. So super disappointing. Um, I did a lot of super tarts this week. So I wanted to use up some super tarts, especially like these bakery bags. I did Mother of Dragons, and this was Satsuma and Pineapple. I did the whole entire Bam bag throughout all this area. It was nice, but it only lasted a few hours, which I was shocked. This is the day, one of the days that I did the Orange Pineapple Punch Candle from Bath & Body Works. But yeah... I was expecting really strong because I love Satsuma, that rich, deep orange, and I love pineapple together, but I just did not get the performance from it that I was hoping for. Coven. Now this lasted. Coven is cola, cake batter, vanilla bean, and zucchini red. This just smelled like, I mean, is Coke cake a thing? Like, have you? is there a thing where you, like, put Coca-Cola in a cake? I don't know, but if it is, that's what this smells like. It literally, the effervescence is not fizzy pop. It's legitimately Coca-Cola, and it's incredible. I love it, could not recommend it more, and it lasted literally all day for me. Um, let's pull out some clams. I did a lot of Super Tarts clams. Three, four, five, right? Five. All right. First up, Sabrina. Sabrina is sweetened cereal, marshmallows, sugary milk, and peach. So this is like her magically delicious with peach. I enjoyed it. It definitely smelled like a cereal scent with fresh peach. Yellow Brick Road, French Baguette, Lemon Eclair, and Whipped Cream. I got nothing from this, which is crazy. This is also like the celebration day because I love fresh baked bread, and I thought the lemon would pair well with the bakery and all that, but I really didn't get anything. I actually think it's satisfying to do this. Squeeze her clams. But yeah, I didn't get anything from Yellow Brick Road. Unfortunately, I changed out the warmers that night. Um, Family Matters, this was great. Zucchini bread, butter, brickle, buttercream, almond, cookie dough, vanilla cream, and coffee. It's a lot of notes to really say a very creamy, buttery coffee. Like, wasn't that a trend, like, keto coffee where you put, like, butter in your coffee? I think it's disgusting, but, yep, it sounded, it smelled really good, like butter coffee. This one, super califragilistic. Coconut, kettle corn, sponge sugar, caramel apple, and buttercream. I feel like this was, like, trying to be a circus concession-y scent because of, like, the kettle corn and the apple. I didn't really get anything from that one, so... It was okay. It was not memorable. This one I loved. Daily Planet. I would highly recommend this one. If this comes back in coffee with when she does the alphabet 
I need this. This is coffee, French baguette, and brown sugar. I would get so much more. And I don't know if it's me. I find I get better performance from the clams than I do with her BAM bags. Coven was an exception. I really liked it, but I just did not get the performance from the BAM bags like I was hoping for. But this is nice. Brown sugar, French baguette, and coffee. Like, the combination together was out of this world. Really, really liked that one. I got through the wax, you guys. All right, so since I did a sample from L3, butterscotch, salted caramel, maple syrup, sugar milk. I did this one in my bedroom before bed in a tea light. It was okay. Um, don't love L3. It just it was like a butterscotchy scent. It was okay. Um, from VCS, I did my favorite things, which was fresh picked strawberries, fresh baked bread, and vanilla butter fudge. I like this. I did this in my candle room in a rose. It lasted six hours, maybe, like steadily six hours. It was like a fresh baked bread strawberry scent. I really liked it. And I think the vanilla butter fudge just added some sweetness to it. Jackie O's Strawberry French Toast. This was in her film bar. This is vanilla bean French toast cake topped with fresh picked strawberries and whipped marshmallows. This was really nice. I liked it. It was like a strawberry bakery, but I kind of like her other strawberry bakeries better. It was never one that I would repurchase, but it was pleasant. It was just like a sweet bakery strawberry. Backwoods Barbie. This was in the coins. I love this. This is Setsuma Strawberry Cotton Candy. So yummy. I think a soft strawberry Setsuma blend is so good. It's just bright and sweet and juicy and tropical and then mixed with the cotton candy made it extra sweet. I did a sample from The Bathing Garden in a hot plate or in a tea light in Blackberry Fudge. It was like a 3D egg. I liked that. That was really cool. It was a different type of scent really 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 enjoyed it it was almost like the blackberry lean like blackberry jam butter cookie which i love i love blackberry jam butter cookie in wax when you melt it it just comes alive all right these are samples i did in my bedroom before bed this week this is from teddy bees this is frosted mint sugar cookies like this i wouldn't repurchase it or purchase it at all it was like the frosted mint it was definitely like like a Cheryl's cookie, like the sugar cookies with like mint frosting, but mint is just not like one that I'm like, I crave or I've ever found one that I'm obsessed with. And then from Sassy Girl Aroma, Mellow Lavender. I have this in a brittle and the lid was like getting cracked so I wanted to pop this in. This is so nice. Reminds me of Lavender Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works, but way stronger. In a tea light before bed, it really just set the mood of calming and delicious. And then, a wallflower. I have an intense, like, the adjustable wallflower plug in my, like, entryway, and I have wash and fold going now. This is amazing. This laundry scent, it's Italian bergamot, juniper, and fresh musks are the notes. If this ever came in a three-wick wash and fold, I would buy it. It was so good, and it's in the fresh and relaxing category, but obsessed absolutely love this scent would totally recommend it i can't get enough i want to stock up but i don't think it's i think this was a spring fragrance because that was a floor set i did when i worked there so um yeah but i really i really liked it and my basket once again is empty ready to get filled back up again i will be uploading this i think on either sunday or monday so how was your week? What are you melting and enjoying? This week is a theme again, and I'm going to definitely stick with the theme. It's going to be Sassy Girl Aroma. I want to get through some Sassy Girl Aroma brittles. I have so many, and I think last I inventoried, I have over 200. So I want to use them and enjoy them, and I have some loaves. I'm going to chop up some muffins. I want to do, like, samples and tea lights in my bathroom. So I really want to use up the Sassy Girl Aroma this week. So let me know what you guys warmed, what you're enjoying. And by the time this video goes up, the Teddy Bees RTS has closed and, or it might still be open with a few things, but everybody got their orders. I'm hoping, I'm putting this out in the universe. I filmed this on Saturday morning. I'm predicting I have 25 tubs and two loaves on my list. I'm going to be getting 20 loaves, or 20 tubs, and 
I'm just gonna say both loaves. I think I'm going, I'm not telling you what they are, because I don't wanna, well, it doesn't matter. Satsumas and linen and Christmas trees and cream and apple cider donuts in loaves. I'm hoping I can get those and 25 tubs, I think I'm gonna end up checking out with 20. That's my thing, I think five are gonna drop my cart. So that's my prediction. I'll see if I'm accurate. I'll actually like leave a comment down below in the description if I was accurate on what I got. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little notification bell in the corner, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Be kind, make it a better world, you matter, and I love you all so much. Bye guys.